Hello guys, welcome back to the so in this tutorial. I'm going to discuss about with you like that OFS API. So first, let me discuss what is OFS API. Like that, uh, the OFS API enables you to incorporate voice data into OFS. The OFS API has two parts like that: speech synthesis, uh, like that means text to speech and speech recognition like that asynchronous speech recognition okay so OMS speech is the one of the most opens like rights to enable you to incorporate voice to data and use voice data in your OMS okay and then there are two components like that one is speech synthesis text to speech and another is space recognition asynchronous space recognition so it is company's text to speech okay so let's talk a little bit more about space recognition so space recognition is the access via the space recognition interface which is provides the ability to recognize voice context from an audio input normally via the device uh, default speech recognition speech and response uh, appropriately so generally we will use this interface constructor to create a new speech recognition object which has a number of event handler email available for detecting when speech is input through the device microphone the speech grammar interface represents the container of particular okay, set of grammar that you have should be recognized so grammar is defining using the speech recognition format okay so basically speech recognition is the access the via speech recognition uh, interface okay then about this speech synthesis like that speech synthesis is an interface of the web speech api is a controller is the controller interface for the speech service uh, this can be used to the retrieve information about the synthesis voice available on the device start and process these and other commands beside okay then just <laughs> you will show that browser compatibility what means browser compatibility like that it is the uh, chrome view oif and mozilla firefox and android view and more reading like that mozilla developer tools so the web speech api are we are going to see them okay guys so you know you we are going to see um, other methods and even around it so i don't i don't want to go to uh, like that it's something to better describe you uh, interface of the OIB speech API is the yes. controller and the interface of this like that speech service and this can be used to the retrieve and information about the synthesis voice available on the device start and process speech and other commands okay so then now I, I'm going to discuss about this API list results like that uh, when you will uh, speech anything in your speech API then you can find easily like that grammar and grammar list like the checking and speech recognition alternative way so speech recognition error and speech recognition event and inside of this you you, uh, you will learn how to develop your speech recognition result and synthesis like that event then synthesis is uh, like that uterans and space so in this tutorial we are going to um, build up this project and uh, first let me discuss uh, what is the main functionality in this project so at first uh, you will give this whole div inside of this container okay then just uh, you will create this another heading tag inside of this and then 
simply you will give this another input text area ok then insert of this button with that input button ok so without wasting of time just uh, let's start this building this project and just I will simply open it with visual code studio with visual bs code editor ok just type here code dot then it will be opened like that bs code so instead of this code just I will uh, cut this all of folder and just I'm gonna starting this uh, at first index.html code so okay guys uh, in this index.html code uh, file then you will just uh, simply uh, create this uh, try here simply html.5 html just you will try here then then you will give this uh, extra feature of this vs code okay so i don't need a, uh, I, I, I don't have need in this time so just i'm gonna create inside of this div div dot at first container as well i said to it inside of this container just i will give this another d like that for heading tape then it will be just a raw box just i will give this raw box so inside of this raw box just i will give this uh, i have to create it another d like that inside of this md6 ok then uh, just here uh, I have created another uh, heading tag like the h1 heading tag obviously I will give this class here name class and it will be just text center text center and obviously uh, it will be like that um, top bottom heading 3 padding 3 pg bg primary primary text center okay and here I'll just uh, give this text light okay so this is, this is basically our project heading tag okay okay instead of this heading tag just you will simply put here um, space to space to text text project let's come back in your browser and refresh it okay we'll show that this is our heading tag just now I'm gonna creating this another form action like it from drive here and simply then just here form action that means simply here just I will use it another ID ok ID name will charts yes charts from form ok so this is good and basically inside of this form just I will use it another text area Okay, then just it will be ID equal charts input ID charts input then calls. Okay, that means class from control. Here I will give this class name class. Okay. 
values three okay so that's it and just simply try if you are set of this team just I'll give this another use it another team and will be ID speech speech btn class will be just speech btn with btn meaning top on to deflex just if i continue content like with between between your line center oh no here is here will be just align items item center okay so this is good and uh, just I'll give this another class name e dot instruction And here, here just I'll give this another button like that. Button class will be BTN Ranger. Okay, so instead of this BTN like that, I'll use it another BTN. Instead of this button, just I use, use another icon like that class then for microphone micro full okay microphone so that's it and click the center and use it inside of this for first for micro phone okay okay basically this is our HTML markup language so just to refresh your browser and simply will uh, you'll show that here is your microphone icon but uh, we don't uh, test uh, we don't import this uh, font of some icon for that this don't show in this here so this is our text area like that we will show that and it will be just inside of this center so let's start the style css code okay so this is our basically element uh, of standard CSS so now uh, we are gonna create this uh, give this class stylus like that at first I will give this container just I am going to start inside of this uh, creating like that container and just make sure it Nine hundred pixel, and here just uh, I'll add this margin uh, zero to zero or two, and adding 
चल भी चाहिए जो ट्वेंटी पिक्सल एंड हेयर जस्ट आई एम गोइंग टू एड दिस अनदर स्टाइलिंग जस्ट बॉक्स एंड यू विल शो दैट इनसाइड ऑफ दिस रॉ लाइक दैट रॉड बॉक्स जस्ट कॉल दिस बॉक्स ओके सो इट विल वर्क एंड इट विल जस्ट डू इट एंड हेयर Hundred percent width and obviously high. We add this height and simply just I uh, will give this hundred percent vertical horizontal. Then display flex display to be flex and I'm gonna add this just to be content. Just to be content, it will be just center. So basically, this is our HTML uh, markup and uh, here in the sketch scanning style sheet. Okay. So basically, I will come back in my browser and refresh it, and you will show that boxes are uh, come in inside of the center, but don't button, don't come in this here. Okay. Okay, instead of this just a content, just I will add this align items, then center, then just I will refresh my browser and what happens? You will show that okay, items are centered. Okay, again I will refresh it and you will show that. There is another mistake. Okay, I will fix this issue. So don't worry about this. Okay, now just uh, when I will add this inside of this div like that ID, another div. Okay, then text area inside of this after text area. Then just uh, I I will add this. Just I have been at this URL like the BTN danger and inside of this div, okay, you notify this issue. For that, our just um, case, uh, style dot CSS is getting inside of this markup language, then it will automatically work it, okay. So now I'm going to creating this another like that script dot JS. So guys, this is our basically um, JavaScript functionality uh, for speech to text project, and here in this year the style is in this project. So just now I'm creating this JavaScript constant value here const like that charts from search form then document. Document dot query selector and here just I'll call this ID charts form make sure that it's semicolon and simply uh, copy and paste it here okay guys just uh, I'm gonna copy this and paste it here and just to simply change this ID okay so that's it and here now I will create this another function at first I will create this another constant speech recognition speech recognition Just elicit speech recognition. Well, window dot speech speech recognition are uh, like that. Just simply call this. 
cut it here speech recognition then for window dot five kit speech recognition recognition then check for browser support just I'll create this another if of insight of this and speech recognition or console dot log then inside of this just simply I'll create this here uh, speech recognition mission supported simply create this const and recognition and just I'll use it new speech new speech recognition mike btn dot add even listener Here uh, I am creating this uh, another like that click event function. Click event function instead of this like that my micro mic VTN like the microphone microphone VTN MIC VTN click at when you will click it, it will work automatically so don't worry about this so just now I will create this micro function function click at bt and free event and just I'll, when click this then it will be free event default dfa default just call this if microphone btn class list dot contains you see it um, microphone microphone okay I'll upgrade this here if then is like that it will be start then it will obvi obviously it will be stop at this here okay so just check this and click this here it uh, nothing to happen in this year okay so just now I'm gonna creating this another function like it start speech recognition and I'll comment this line recognition dot add even listener when just will click this then it will work so then I'll create this another function like the start then function empty function ok so inside of this just release it mic btn dot class list 
dot remove obviously what you will just remove this just to remove this microphone microphone okay so that's it and use it another microphone class list and it will be just added this slash add inside of this use it again from the for microphone microphone like that slash instruction dot text content and here just you will use it when you will start this when you click this microphone button then here will be start like the reading or listening okay just reading Just simply state reading. So dot 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 dot. Charles in foot. Focus. All this function. I'm going to create creating this another stop function stop speech speech recognition or simply copy this and paste it here we'll, uh, copy this and paste it here and change it just to click this microphone to icon start and add this simply console.log and speech recognition is disable okay it, it that means when you click this button then it will be like the disable but your speech text is running now okay when your speech text is running now so whatever the changes here like that you will uh, create this uh, button then it will work automatically okay and then you will uh, when you will talk to about this and it like that listening or reading then um, yeah, you will getting this this result inside of this your text area okay so you will show that so this time I'm gonna finish this code inside of this here and just I'll create this another for get result result recognition Okay. So inside of this recognition dot add event listener int okay when this is finished and just simply will click this another function and inside of this function just uh, I'm gonna creating this rec uh, recognition dot continuous it will be running now continuous and it that's mean it will draw okay so it will be draw in this here then you will false this then your recognition is not don't work but you don't get anything result inside of your text area so recognition dot add even listener then just simply type your result
absolute law just call this function name here const current const variable like it current equal e dot there's been here result index okay result index and inside of this constant trans const transcript and your result transcript there's mean event dot a result index or only you can just simply uh, try for result or results results this mean current zero dot transcript Content plus transcript search in foot dot here will be just added in your value, then value is equal to content. searching for dot focus on this here instead of this just simply we will add this here else to the type here anything speech recognition so not supported okay so that's our project and just uh, I will finish this now Inside of this, this type here is speech, pitch and deep, and click this style. Just, uh, call this style dot visibility. Okay, guys. Okay, so now I'm gonna successfully. complete this uh, script.js uh, javascript code inside of this ok so just now I will come back in my browser and refresh in my code and click this and uh, when you will click this then your browser automatically pop up to you just allow this use this microphone so ok guys uh, if you want to like my video then obviously subscribe my youtube channel and I hope you will be just stay away from good camp.
so basically uh, in this pronunciation uh, you'll show that many error in this speech dot recognition for my speech recognition and my pronunciation for that you'll show that textably what is what happened in this error So now just I'm going to testing again in this space to text API. Okay guys, so in this tutorial I'm your instructor. My name is Mashuk Mia and obviously if you want to like my video then obviously subscribe my YouTube channel. So okay guys hopefully we are successfully developed this speech to text project with javascript speech api okay so inside of this like that when you click this then your google speech api is this uh, it will be work worked otherwise it don't it don't work okay so i hope you will understand this project and uh, really if you want like my video then obviously subscribe my youtube channel uh, stay tuned to upcode camp 